Can the home teams keep the good times rolling? Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. This home squad is on a heater. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. The Leafs start with possession as we are now underway. Takes the puck at the point. Here's a short pass to Matthews. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Nice bank pass off the boards. Moves it in front. Takes the blast. Quick pass to Gensel. Into the offensive end right up the middle. Shot. Big time stop there. Goalie has to be sharp there. He's got a beauty backhander. And he delivers that thing on target again. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Huge stop by Sassanov. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Poked away in the neutral zone by Dumoulin. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. I know what he's trying to do, get into space to shoot it, but now you got to chase because you've turned it over. Here's a save. And it's through. Tinder's not going to like that one as he scores, putting it into his own net. Toronto's got the position that every coach loves, the lead. Then you can use your bench. Then you can use all of the combinations you might think will work for you. You've got a little bit of a cushion with a one-goal lead. Works it across to Pedersen. And now he tries to get it across to Rust. And he takes the feed. The pass in front! And he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Can't make the connection on the pass. Feeds it over to Obey Kubel. Slides the puck to Tavares. Fires it! Bad save! He's on it tonight. Takes the feed from the wing. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And that pass doesn't go. Scores! On the rebound, puts it home. The Leafs have extended the lead to two, and they can see the light at the end of the tunnel for the second period. They would love to get it into the intermission just like it is. They've done a really good job tonight. Bluger's won the draw. Muzzin's got it in the defensive end. Rask's moving it ahead. Toss it up in the neutral zone. The Penguins have checked really well here. This is a tight game, and they're looking to generate some offense off a turnover. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Slides it on over to Kempf. Takes the pass. Moves it to Kempf. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Heinen. And some textbook body contact there. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Scores! There it is! His first of the season, and look at the smile there! Really good backhand shot here. He got into the low slot and really tough for the goalie to read where that puck was going. Late goings of this period. The Penguins still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. Toronto's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Moves it quickly over to Simmons. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Toronto's got it across the line. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Pass broken up. A 
a lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath back with more tomorrow. Puck is dropped. Ray Ferraro is down at ice level, and he gives us his own assessment of the opening 20 minutes. Razor, Pittsburgh's in decent shape here, James. I mean, I know they trailed by one, but they played a really good first period. They'll want to continue that and try and get this game evened up here in the second period. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Getzel's got it along the wing. Quick pass to Matthews. Feeds it on over to Bunting. Can't get it to go. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Matthews. Penalty coming up here. Well, the first job's going to be to kill this penalty off, James, but maybe they take a chance down a goal to see if they can get a shorty. The first penalty kill of the night for this team, and they won't let that knock their confidence. We know their penalty kill unit is ranked toward the bottom of the league. It's something they've been actively working on to improve. So let's see if any of their improvements show up tonight. Poked away at center by Kerfoot. Here's a short pass to Raz. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Moves it to Engvall. And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a puck check. Quick feed to Kerfoot. And he uses his trapper to snare that one in his chest. Brody's starting to squeeze the stick a little bit here. He's been a while without a point. Luger's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Rask. Here's the pass. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. I always used to giggle when our goalie would stop a shot with their mask because you'd go back and say, hey, nice save, and he'd look at you like, don't talk to me right now, that hurt. Tremendous reflexes as he makes the one-timer save. The Penguins take it along the wall, and he easily stops that one. Samsonov's got the puck, and he's going to go for the whistle here. He hasn't had a lot to do this period, but he's been excellent and has been able to control the pace of play. Matthews will look to win the draw to continue this power play. Palings won the draw. The Penguins played along the wing. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off a stick. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Marner. Slip feed. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Time running out on this power play. They've got one last chance here. Latang's up and ready to join the play. Grabbed along the boards by Marner. Pittsburgh's killed the penalty. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Thunder is hit. Well, that's inevitable. He had his head down, got hit so hard he dropped his stick. Now he's got to go pick it up before he can join the play again. That's why coaches say keep your head up, right? Well, that's one of the reasons. Stop that one. Great A chance right in the middle of the ice, and the goaltender makes the stop. And now he moves it to Mulgan. And it's a quick pass to Matthews. Grabs control of it at the point. Scrum along the wall. Oh, and a nice play to free up the puck there. Crosby's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. And that's knocked away by Dumoulin. Nice pass. The Penguins played along the boards. Here's a race for the loose puck. The Leafs have it against the wall. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. Crosby's picking up steam. He grabs the puck here at the point. Rister, and that goes off course off a of body. 
And he takes the dish. Mulligan's gaining momentum. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Takes the pass from the left wing. Hammers one. Blocked in front. Quick pass to Rask. Wicked slot shot. And he takes the feed. Makes the save. Here comes the official's decision. These late penalties in a period are really crucial. You want to kill this one off so you don't lose any momentum going into the break. Guys, this PK unit successfully killed off a penalty so far tonight. We know they're ranked toward the bottom of the league, but if they can borrow a little bit of execution from that earlier one, maybe they can shut it down again right here. McKinn's got the puck along the wing. Maintains possession. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Here's a short pass to Kerfoot. The Leafs carry it along the wall. Oh, he got a power play goal! Now, you know, James, I made a living on the power play. You gotta keep listening to my stories all the time, but once you get on a power play this role and you feel like there's a couple of different options, this team is good with the man advantage. Thankfully, your stories are good, too, Ferraro. Eh, I didn't know about that. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. And that pass attempt is deflected. Poked away in the neutral zone by Malkin. Here's a shot. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. Two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Fans are buzzing, teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is between both benches. Ray, what do you make of the first two periods tonight? Pittsburgh's had such a meager total of shots on goal. Predictably, they haven't scored. They've got to get more pucks to the net. Nice zone entry from the left. Sends the pass in front. And he elects not to shoot and will hang on to the puck. Puck scooped up by Brody. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Takes that pass back at the point. Moves up near the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Oh, target. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Slides that one right across the blue line. Made the stop on the play. The play continues. He makes the save but keeps it alive as the puck's in the corner. And he makes the save on that play. Oh, the home team is reeling here inside the defensive zone. The fans are nervous. And it's picked up by the defense. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Here's an odd man rush. It's a two-on-one. Puck grabbed by Latang. Moves it to Gensel. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Slides the pass over to Pedersen. Quick feed to Raquel. Tavares takes it through the middle of the ice. Can't get a hold of that pass. Tries to get it to Malkin. Slides the puck across to Pedersen. Tavares plays it now. Sends it into the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Tosses it to Zucker. With possession along the wall. Looks to set up at the point now. Samsonov's gonna cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. More than half the frame has been played here. Toronto's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. 
Moves it quickly over to Kane. Slides the puck across to Petrie. Takes it across the blue line. Quick pass to Kapanen. Oh, what a slick stop. He scores! What a little pop left for the play. Now that's a goal scorer's goal right there, James. He establishes position low in the slot and zips the backhander past the goalie. The Penguins are setting this up for an interesting finish here, Ray. A lot more interesting than it was a couple of minutes no ago. Kidding. Now, just down one, James. They can do this. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. That's a good play. He chips it into the offensive zone. Now he can get after it. Try and run some time off the clock here. This is where you want to play defense. Moves the puck behind the net. Back to the blue line. Wow, what a stop! And they capitalize for the goal! You know, James, that kills the power play, but I'd still like to see the rules amended so they would still get the power play. They earned one, now they don't even get it. Well, that's a terrific comeback for them. They've been playing from behind the entire game. They finally tie it up. The Penguins have come up with a huge third period goal here late to set up for a dramatic finale. They push hard for this tying goal, and now that they have it, don't take your foot off the gas. Try and get the winner before you get anywhere near overtime. Takes it to the net! Tremendous stop by Samsonov! Probably want to redo on that. Samsonov's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. A big face off here inside the offensive end. This one's still up for grabs as we approach the final minute. And that's broken up. Drives to the pin. Here's a short pass to Tavares. From right out of midair, he bats it down. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. The Penguins have it from the corner. Gets the puck over to Obey Kubel. And a smart hits up play to poke that away by Joseph. He got all that hit. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. He's been really good on these high danger chances. And here's another one right from the slot. But he's tracked that puck to keep it in front of him and make the save. Moves it to Tavares. Passes the puck over to Obe Kubel. The Leafs take possession in the neutral zone. And he takes a shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And there's the buzzer bringing regulation time to an end. Still tied up. We've got overtime in moments. And they are ready to drop the puck here in OT. Oh, everybody's up for this one now. We are underway for overtime. And he regains control of the puck. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Quick feed to Riley. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Whoa. Look at the engine. Scores! There's your overtime winner. He's oh. They scratched and they deserve that win tonight. Oh, man, you just love playing with a guy like this. The passes are hard and flat. They're right on your tape. I played with a couple of them. John Anderson back when I was with Hartford, and then Alexi Kovalev with the Rangers. They could drop it on your tape from anywhere. Great night of action on the ice, and I can't wait to do it again. I know you can't wait either, so we'll see you next time, and real soon at that.